the IRR decision rule requires us to compare the internal rate of return with the cost of capital. If we find that the internal rate of return is greater than the cost of capital, then it will be true that the NPV is greater than zero and the project should be accepted. The reverse is also true. If the internal rate of return is less than the cost of capital, the NPV will be less than zero and the project should be rejected. We can therefore say that for independent projects, where all of the project's cash flows precede its positive cash flows, then the internal rate of return rule will give us the same decision as NPV. In coming modules, I will explain exactly what these two clauses mean and demonstrate why internal rate of return might not always give the same decision as NPV. We can use the information provided in this slide to evaluate the internal rate of return decision rule. There is a clear relationship between internal rate of return and net present value. If the internal rate of return is greater than the cost of capital, the NPV will be greater than zero. And therefore the internal rate of return decision rule satisfies the three critical factors in finance. It only takes into account cash flows. It takes into account the time value of money by discounting future cash flows. And risk is taken into account because of the discount rate that is used. However, there are still some situations where internal rate of return might give the wrong decision. This could be true in the case of mutually exclusive projects or projects with future negative cash flows. And again, this will be covered in more detail in the next few modules.